this is the module 6 video. So in this video we're going to continue looking at how to summarize data and in particular what we're going to look at is the relationship between two quantitative variables. Now you have probably seen scatter plots before and we're going to spend some time talking about scatter plots in this module. So probably previously at some point in your academic career you made scatter plots but you maybe never really thought about what a scatter plot can tell you about a set of data. And it ends up that scatter plots are a really useful tool, and then we can use numerical summaries to say things even further from scatter plots. And so again, the goal for this module is going to be looking at the relationship between two different quantitative variables to see if we can see if there's some kind of an association between them using a scatter plot. And hopefully we can use that to say things. Um, even more than that, and you'll see that we're going to try to predict values of one variable for other values of the explanatory variable, and we're going to do some stuff that you may have not seen before in this module once we get past the scatter plots. Now one important thing to keep in mind is that previously in module 2 we talked a lot about how you can have an association but no causation. These things still apply here. So even though we may make a scatter plot between two variables and we might see a really nice linear association between them, and you'll see what that means in this module, that doesn't mean that there is causation between those two variables. So you're going to want to keep in mind those ideas that you saw in module 2. As always, if you have any questions, please use the dis general discussion board. I'll be more than happy to help you all, whether it be you know, with quiz questions or your worksheets. Um, I'm basically here to answer any questions that you have. And I will talk to you next module.